Laurie, um, the fact that you're disappointed not to take all three points against uh, Derby County hints uh, a good performance today. Yeah, I mean, obviously at the start of the game, uh, people were sort of doubting us, uh, second favourites that go down and things, and I think on today's performance, I think you'll see that we're, we're here to, to fight and, you know, hopefully be at the top. First half uh, was quite an evenly fought contest, very few opportunities, but in the second half, just saying to the manager there, uh, fortune really wasn't on your side, three times you hit the woodwork. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously unfortunate, some some weeks they go in and, you know, you end up winning 3-0, um, but... Listen, we have to keep going, uh, and I think we showed today that in our fitness levels um, from the first half and, and going on into the second half that we sort of started to dominate and got better and better as the game went on, um, and that's, that's a promising look. Yourself, uh, alongside Prince, um, making your, your league debuts today for uh, Wanderers, we're effectively uh, a new back for uh, the fact that you've kept a clean sheet must uh, fill you with plenty of pride. Yeah, first and foremost, as a defender, you, you want a clean sheet. Um, and if anything, if you can keep a clean sheet, <coughs> you, you back the, the forwards and, and the midfielders to, to go and win the game for you. Um, and that's all you know we can do as back, as back four. And to have a new back four in and, and keep a clean sheet is, is promising. And for Prince to come in, uh, sort of train Friday, uh, and then play today and make 90 minutes <laughs> was brilliant. And from your own point of view, what was it like to get out there and play 90 minutes at the Macron? <clears throat> Yeah, it was outstanding. The uh, the atmosphere was brilliant. Obviously, the scorching hot day as well. First game of the season, it's always like that. Uh, so it was absolutely brilliant. The the atmosphere was was fantastic. And if we could keep it like that week in week out and make this a fortress, I think we'll be uh, very tough to beat. Yeah, I was uh, going to ask the question. Of course, uh, you you've played in this division for a number of years, uh, and obviously got a lot of experience. How, how good do you think this Bolton Wanderers squad is, and what would you say is a realistic uh, ambition for this season? I mean, you have to aim for the top. Every every player aims for the top. They they always want to get promoted from from whatever league. As soon as you start the game, you want to be promoted. That's that's your ambition. You you revalue it probably in January. But for now, it's you know there's there's no limit. You know you want, you want to be at the top. Um, <clears throat> and for a new team to come in and play the way we did today. Uh, I think it's quite promising. And just one final one, obviously, uh, first real chance we've had to speak to you since you joined the club. How are you settling in at Bolton? Yeah, it's been brilliant. The, the lads have uh, been superb with me. They've, they've brought me in, uh, made me feel at home. Obviously, I'm in the hotel at the minute, but <laughs> um, they've been telling me everywhere, you know, where, where to eat, where to look for places and things like that. And that they're a great squad and uh, really tight knit. Um, and I think that, you know, when people come in, they, they, they really bring you in and, uh, and make you feel at home and that, that's what's nice thanks very much Laurie well done